Gajendra was not an ordinary elephant. He was the king of the elephants, but certainly he had a very, uh, very interesting past. He was a king in his previous life, and that is not an ordinary king, but a king who was devoted to Krishna consciousness. A king who was devoted for practicing bhakti, and for some reason he was cursed to become a elephant. <clears throat> so now. Uh, in this throughout the universes, there are so many beautiful places and there are so many things going on in, on this, on this uh, beautiful planet. We, uh, the scientists, we understand that there is life on only on this planet. But from Srimad Bhagavatam, we understand that there is life on every planet and there are so many other things going on there. So similarly, uh, there is an ocean of milk. And in that ocean of milk, there is a very high and a very beautiful mountain which has an altitude of 10,000 yojanas or 80,000 miles. And this mountain was known as Trikuta Parvat, Trikuta. And in this Trikuta mountain, there were so many valleys which were created by Varuna himself. In that valley, there was an elephant known as uh, Gajendra. And he, he had his very big family of the she elephants, the brother elephants, and the child children elephants, all were there. And they all, uh, especially the she elephants, they proposed Gajendra that since we are already on a picnic today, can we also go and take a bath in this beautiful water? So Gajendra agreed, and they, all of them they entered the lake which was which was there in that mountain and they were playing their sports they were enjoying and just at that time all the inhabit when the elephants were playing in that lake all the inhabitants in the water they got disturbed and as a as a representative there was a king of all the uh, all the species in all the species staying underwater, there was a king who was a crocodile. He was very, very powerful. He got very disturbed and he thought that let me teach this elephant a lesson. So this, this crocodile, it went and it caught hold of the feet of Gajendra very, very tightly. And thus started a battle between crocodile, the king of the water and the elephant who was the king of the forest. And they had a very fierce and intense fight. And guess what? The fight went for 1000 years. For 1000 years they were fighting. And none of them were getting defeated because both were equally powerful. When Bhima and Duryodhana used to fight, uh, at that time it was very difficult to estimate who is going to victor, who is being will be victorious who will get defeated because both were equally powerful. Even Krishna used to praise Duryodhana's uh, fighting skills. So here the crocodile and the elephant were fighting, fighting and fighting for so many long years. And neither of them were ready to give up. But gradually, gradually after a thousand years were over, Gajendra felt a little bit of weakness. Crocodile was fighting in its own territory. Crocodile is an animal from the water and he was fighting in its own territory. So certainly his, he, was, he was powerful. Similarly, uh, but, Gajendra, but Gajendra on the other side was fighting in its different territory. He was, a, he was an animal from the land and he was fighting in the water. So certainly gradually, gradually he was getting weakened. And it so happened that Gajendra thought to himself that I might not be able to win this battle. I might lose. I might, I might die. So at that time, this, at that time Gajendra he remembered a mantra which he used to chant in his previous life. Now how amazing is this? That you have been a devotee in your past life and that mantra, that prayer which you have chanted, that he remembered in his present life, that too in the body of an elephant. 
and gajendra he <coughs> he thought that whatever is my situation right now but let me surrender to the supreme personality of god at whatever difficult situations we are in but at that very moment if we decide that we have to surrender ourselves as lotus feet of supreme lord one can do so and he can perfect his life so gajendra thought that i am in this terrible situation where i am going to die now and this prayer which i think i have chanted previously is constantly coming to my mind so gajendra he started speaking shukadev goswami he is he is saying एवं व्यवस्वितो बुद्ध्या समाधाय मनोरिति जजाप परम जाप्य प्राग जन्म से अशिक्षित वाट वॉज द कॉन्शियनेस ऑफ गजेन्द्र सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज टेलिंग दैट द किंग एलिफंट द किंग ऑफ द एलिफंट गजेन्द्र ही वॉज फिक्स ही फिक्स इज माइंड इन इज हार्ट एंड ही स्टार्टेड शैंडिंग दिस मंत्र आई मीन ही वॉज इन फुल कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ वॉट इज ई डूइंग He, he was he was aware that he is offering these prayers to the supreme personality of godhead lord shri hari and he started chanted chanting the prayers and at that time so many of the demigods they were they appeared there on the sky and they were watching the fun hmm? if they wanted seeing a devotee in trouble they could have come forward and helped gajendra hmm? but they had an ego they were thinking to themselves that Gajendra is not calling our names. He is calling Lord Hari. So let him call, and we know that Lord Hari is not going to come. How will he come? Simply by chanting these prayers. Lord Gah- Gajendra thinks that Lord Hari is going to come and rescue him. That is not possible. So the demigods were discussing amongst themselves, and they said, if some of them said, if he could have asked my help, I could have certainly gone and helped him. But Gajendra is not asking my help. I am here, standing in front of him. Hmm? Gajendra is seeing all of them, but he is praying to Lord Hari, hmm? the Supreme Person, Lord Godhead. So this is very beautiful prayers. One should read those prayers. <coughs> and Gajendra, <coughs> uh, when he was offering his prayers at that time, and and when the demigods were discussing that Lord Hari might not come, just at that time, Lord Hari, sitting on Garuda, entered the sky. and as soon as the demigods and everybody saw the supreme lord hari entered the sky they all were amazed and said how is it possible how is it possible that lord hari has come to deliver a elephant and and this uh, everybody began to clap they were all happy and they were jubilant this and but there was a problem the problem was that lord thought that garuda is a bit slow garuda how can he be slow he is faster than the speed of a mind but at this moment the lord was thinking the supreme lord hari was thinking that this garuda is a bit slow so lord got down from his from his chariot from his from garuda and before garuda could reach that place the lord hari he reached that place and he picked up gajendra along with the crocodile and brought him to the shore and then cut crocodile's uh, neck with his sudarshan chakra so this is uh, this is how the past times of gajendra is described by shukadev goswami and we'll be hearing that in the next few uh, days from now